Hey everybody, what's up? It's Misha. Guys, I want to talk to you, like specifically the men, okay? I want to talk to you because I, I want to help you find a gift for your wife this Christmas. And especially I want to help you figure out what's okay to give my wife. Like, have you ever asked yourself, can I give her a kitchen appliance? <laughs> we're gonna go through all of that and we're gonna talk about some rules of thumb if you're questioning things like that. And we're also gonna talk about just some really great things you can think about to help you get good ideas for your wife for Christmas. All right guys, so the first big question that I want you to ask yourself when you're thinking about your wife and what you want to give her for Christmas is, is this a household item that I'm passing off as her gift for Christmas? That should be like the number one guiding question if you're purchasing any sort of an appliance or something that the entire family or that you both would enjoy is, is it a need that I'm passing off as her gift? Okay, so if the answer is yes, don't buy it for her. <laughs> but if it's a luxury and it's something that she has actually really, really been wanting, that's totally okay because that means you've been listening to her. Let me give you an example. So with a household item, let's give an example of the toaster. If the toaster goes out and you're gonna give your wife a toaster to replace it for Christmas, yeah, not a good idea, okay? That's a household item, unless it's some really specialty toaster that she's been wanting, that's a household item that you're passing off as her gift. But, like, if it's something like this teapot, this teapot um, heats uh, water in like a couple of minutes, and it was something that I had my eye on that I loved, and so I would have loved getting this for a gift. That would have been a very thoughtful gift in my opinion, unlike the toaster. See, you see the difference? <laughs> this guy, the Sonos, Sonos allows you to have music playing like in, in the different um, areas of your house, all the same music, all the same level of music, so it's not blasting from somewhere. And this is something that I had my eye on and that I really, really wanted. So when my husband gave it to me for my birthday, it was such a luxury for me and it was something that I had been wanting and he gave it to me. So do you see how this is an item that everybody still gets to use throughout the whole, I mean the whole family uses it, but I wanted it. So that's the difference. When asking yourself, when you're thinking about an appliance or something that serves use for everybody, ask yourself that simple question. Is it a household expense that I'm passing off as a gift for my wife? Okay, the next question that you guys wanna evaluate is what is your budget like? Does your wife have any money in the budget to spend on herself, okay? If the answer is yes to this question, you actually have a little bit more leeway with, um, with your gift, okay? <laughs> because she's able to buy some things on her own, she can pick the things that she really, really wants, and she's not hanging on to, like, oh, but I wanted or I needed, okay? That's not there. If you answered no to that question, if she does not have the budget to buy very much for herself, that's okay, it's totally okay. It just means that it's a little bit more imperative that you do put some thought into her gift, that you really, really think about her and the things that you think she needs. For example, if you really like to hike and she kinda likes it, but you wish that she would do more of it with you, do not buy her a pair of hiking boots, okay? <laughs> but hiking boots would be okay to buy her if it's her passion and it's something that she wants to do and you notice that she needs a new pair. That's when you buy, buy, buy. Give her the, give her the boots with a big fat smile on your face, okay? <laughs> Some things you can do to actually get good ideas for your wife for Christmas are you can talk to her friends. Okay, you can say to them, hey, what are some things that you have purchased this year or some things that you just really, really love? Like you can't imagine living without, okay? Ask, or, or what is a total luxury for you? Can, you? can you tell me the things that you really, really love? And then when they tell you the things that they love, think about your wife and think if she would also like those same things because chances are she probably would. So that's one direction you can go to help get good ideas for your wife. Um, another direction that you can go is to think about her passions and how something that you give her could help her explore those passions, okay? So 
yes, that involves listening to her and knowing her. And women are so good at putting the needs of like their family and their husbands and others in front of their own that you might have to, it might take a little bit of work for you to explore and really find out what her passions are or what she's wishing that she could spend some free time doing. All right. But think about her passions. Think about, does she like to exercise and go running? Does she like to go hiking? Does she like to be outdoors? Does she like to be around water? Does she like to paint or do art? Um, how about cooking or hunting or like, what are some things that she, like some passions that she really has? And you can think of a gift that surrounds those passions that would help her um, go down that road. Kind of like the idea with the hiking boots, okay? Or like, if it's art, give her some art supplies. Or if she loves to make music and she needs some new equipment for that, give it to her. If she likes to travel, give her, give her a plane ticket, okay? <laughs> or give her, um, give her some traveling accessories like luggage or, or a neck pillow or, you know, something like that that's really, really fun. The idea is just to listen to her, to pay attention to her, to know her passions so that you can give a gift that's thoughtful. And when all else fails, women love the categories of jewelry and makeup and hair accessories and clothing and pampering items, okay? But this is a tricky one because if you're going to go down that path and you need to be aware of the, her style and the brands she typically likes to buy from. So tread those waters <laughs> kind of carefully. And if you're not sure, text her bestie, okay? Because she might have a little bit more insight into the things that she might like in that category. Hopefully that has helped you start to figure out what you could give your wife for Christmas. Whether your budget is really huge or really small, it's something that you can give to her that will communicate to her thoughtfulness and love on your part. I do have a gift idea list for women. I will um, put the affiliate link below and you guys can go there and kind of start the brainstorming process, all right? But really what I really want you to do is think about her and her passions and something that she's been needing or wanting and you will score big time, okay? <laughs> I would really appreciate it if you guys will like, follow, or subscribe below so that I can keep bringing you ideas to lift your living and things to help you live happy and be inspired. Merry Christmas.